separating each part with these little outside borders. Okay, so um, now I can kind of go over worksheet operations. Um, you can with Excel, you can have multiple worksheets. You can see down here it says sheet one. I only have one worksheet, but I can. You can see this um, plus symbol. I click that, and that's going to add a new worksheet. Now with this new worksheet, I can enter in all sorts of different content in here. And just as I referred to cells with my formulas here, I could refer to different sheets. Um, and I'll try to do that. The first thing is you just see that we created our, our, a new sheet by pressing the new sheet button there. Okay, I want to, since I've already created a budget, I want to just copy this worksheet and insert in the other one. So I'm just going to copy the content within the worksheet. Now I'm pressing Control C, and now I'm going to click on Sheet 2. In the very top left, um, in cell A1, I'm going to select cell A1, now I'm press Control V. It's going to insert this, all the content that I had in Sheet 1, so it's completely the same. Um, now I'm zooming in so you can see it better. Okay, so this is our monthly budget. So here we can, um, now I'm going to show you how to, um, now once we we have different sheets, you can rename your sheet. So I'm going to select sheet one. Let's, let's deselect the copy. I just select there. I just select a cell and that will double click a cell and it will um, undo the copy command. All right, so I can select the sheet tab right down here, sheet one, right click and select rename from the shortcut menu and now I'll name I can just type in um, content I'm gonna type in estimated budget okay just select a cell and there it's named now I can select cell sheet uh, select seat sheet 2 tab right click rename and actual I'll just name it actual and press enter. And there now I have named the different worksheets within the tab, within um, my workbook. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to show you um, basically how different cells, you know, you can refer to different worksheets uh, for here I'll name I'm gonna add a new new row and I'm gonna call it spread and that's gonna be well, actually before I even do that since this is gonna be the actual I'm gonna be making entries monthly based on what I actually made let me select all the content that was hard-coded in all of the values and numerical values that represent income and expenses I'm selecting only those cells and let's clear that content because this is going to be the actual. So clear content. Okay, let's say for now, I'm going to go here and I'm going to enter a new category called spread. And that's going to tell us each month how far off, how much better, how much worse we did compared to our uh, estimated budget. And so I'm, you're going to see I'm going to refer to the other sheet to the estimated budget sheet for our formula. I'm gonna, just going to put um, equals our balance, our actual balance, minus our estimated balance. And that will tell us how far, far away we are from where we should be. You can see that I haven't even entered in any data, but by doing that, this formula referred to um, Okay, here's another thing you're going to learn. I'm going to the formulas tab. I'm hitting show formulas. Now that's going to show the formulas. Every cell that shows a formula, it's not going to show the result, but it's going to show the actual entered in formula. For our, so our, for our spread formula, you can see that we I just selected the cells, but um, the formula is going to be cell starts off normal, cell um, equals cell B12 minus cell B12 from estimated budget worksheet so there I've referred now let's just 
undo select cells. There I've referred to I and mean, you can resize this cell by dragging it. I've referred to another sheet for our formula. Now I'm just going to drag that over. And it's referring to all of these cells. Let's select our cells, double click, and make them all fit. All right, now let's just enter in some theoretical data. Let's say we've been making a little bit more. Wait, sorry. Let's say we've been making a little bit more than what we expected. Working some overtime. And everything else has remained the same. See, I'm just selecting all of my expenses right here. And I'm just going to paste it. So I select the same cell relative to this worksheet. Control V. All right, so you can see now our spread column. Each month, we are growing $300 further away from our estimated balance. So that's our spread. We're 18 here by uh, June. So you see in the June, we are actually $1,800 ahead of where we thought we would be. So there now you kind of see how we can also refer to different sheets with the worksheets with an Excel. Um, <clears throat> another thing we have are um, you can use different tables. That wouldn't quite work with this budget. Um, but basically what tables are, they just make working in Excel a, you know more efficient. Um, Enter in some, or I'll add it. Just add a new worksheet. I'm gonna just do a quick sales report. Employee. And then quarter one. And we're doing quarters. Okay, select that. Two, three, and quarter four. And then Todd, John, Bob. Billy, Bob, and Billy, Bob, Todd. Okay, let's make that fit. Let's enter in some random numbers. Right arrow. Pretend like we're getting these from a report. Now you should know how to do what I'm doing. I'm hitting the right arrow, and you can see how fast I'm able to enter the stata, even though it's not, there's no pattern to it whatsoever. I'm just using the arrows. I'm not even using my mouse. Okay. So now I'll show you what a table is. Basically in Excel you have tables um, and it, it it works better when you have like um, certain things with different categories. Not so much a sales report, but imagine like if you have um, homes, addresses, the number of bedroom, homes for sale with the addresses, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, garage, square footage, then you can really use a table to um, organize different data sort and filter um, you know data but I'm just going to use this because this is a quick introduction so to um, to turn your uh, I guess your table this already is kind of a table to, but to make it an Excel table you're going to select the range of cells I'm going to click the insert button and right here you're going to have your tables button hit table or you could press control T so there it's selected the range of cells where our content is it's going to say my table has headers. My table does have headers. As you can see, I have employee quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. So I'm going to keep that box che checked. If I didn't enter headers, I would un uncheck that box and it would enter in headers automatically. Okay, so the create header headers dialog box is there. I click OK. There I have a table. Okay, with the table, I can go in by quarter. I can just sort and filter data. So you can see I can do largest to smallest. And that's going to tell me for quarter one, it's going to sort it from largest to smallest. Or I can do from smallest to largest. From smallest to largest. 
Um, you can 